Atriox return in Halo Infinite, AI and Forge, Weapon Charms, and will the Flood return? And what will happen to this channel if Halo Infinite succeeds or fails? Well, in this video, I answer all your burning questions, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again and today we're doing another Q&A video of answering your questions from the community about Halo Infinite. Occasionally what I like to do is go onto my community page and post a question down there. If you have any Halo Infinite related questions, feel free to leave them down. If anything pops up or has a lot of upvotes, I'll definitely make it into a video. In the last Q&A, post had so many questions on there that I had to break it up into two videos. So I really appreciate the support and interactions guys. It makes a world of difference, especially during the slow time of Halo Infinite news. If you want to take part in the next Q and A, make sure you subscribe guys, make sure you, so you can catch the next time we post questionnaire on the community page here on the channel. So let's get right into the content here. Angry Bird Dude asks the question, do you guys think Atrox is going to appear in the game as a cameo or do you guys think he'll appear at the end credits as a cliffhanger eating into the new game. Well, last we've heard from Aatrox, we do believe that he was stranded on the Ark, if I remember correctly. I haven't played Halo Wars 2, so I definitely should do that before the release of Halo Infinite. But from my memory that the Banished as a whole don't really know his place. They just know that he's gone, missing in action. They don't know if he's dead or alive. He's just not in place right now. And that's why Eshram is kind of taking the lead as the main villain within Halo Infinite. Now, I suspect that Eshram will maintain being the main villain of the game throughout the entire gameplay experience. And if Aatrox does make it in in some way or another, it will probably be in like the ending scene, like a teaser stinger and at, after the credits kind of stinger kind of thing. Uh, just because I think they really want to just try to focus on this story right now against Eshram, against Chief, and the way they just like the initial game demo set up with Eshram kind of saying that this is like his final fight and this battle will live beyond the legacy of just the two of them. So I think that the Eshram's going to be like the main guy that you'll fight at the very end of the game. And I would, that's kind of how I would like to do, keep it as well. Uh, straight and simple to the point because Halo has such a complex story and 3 for 3 has tried to dive into that, but they've kind of put too much story into the time that they have. And also when you're talking about leading into the new game, there's not going to be like a new Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite is just going to be the Halo game to play and they're just going to be updating, bringing new content. And so if they're going to be bringing in like a new campaign aspect, I wouldn't expect it for a, a year at least to two years probably for the next campaign missions to be brought into the Halo Infinite platform. Meaning if you have like an Atriox teaser at the end of the original story, I feel like that would be way too long of a way to figure out what's gonna happen next. I think external marketing and content 343 that could create before say like the chapter two, if you wanna call that, of the releases of Halo content for campaign wise, you can probably release like some teasers and some maybe some Easter eggs within the game itself. So you can kind of figure out that Aatrox is actually coming back, which I think would be a, probably the better way to go about doing that. Guillermo Campos asks, Hey Kevin, would you like to see keychain like customization for the assault rifle, battle rifle, etc. in Halo Infinite? An example that comes in mind is D.Va's pistol from Overwatch. If you guys don't know D.Va's weapon, you can kind of get a screenshot right here, showing there's kind of like a weapon charm on the bottom of the weapon. So I think this question kind of more is direct to, do you, would you like to see weapon charms come to Halo Infinite? And I would say absolutely. I think it's such a cool little just bit of customization that you can have beyond just like a weapon skin, which we normally get for Halo nowadays or just FPS shooters in genre, yeah, weapon charms are fun and all, but I think they are kind of a little worn out as uh, we've seen pretty much weapon charms in pretty much every single FPS game possible. That's because they're actually kind of cool and fun. I would like to see if 343 can do something a little different with the weapon charms when it comes to customization, or maybe just have some different types of customization we've never seen before in weapons. But as a base value for weapon charms on guns, absolutely, I would love to see that. Daniel Nilsson says, you think Flood will come back? I would be extremely surprised if the Flood do not come back in Halo Infinite in some capacity. 343 has stated that this is like a soft reboot of the Halo franchise 
franchise, kind of a return to the beginning, if you will. What was the first game? What was Combat Evolved? And what was the main enemy in Combat Evolved? Well, the Flood. And we haven't seen the Flood in Halo, I think since Halo 3, if you don't count Awakening the Nightmare from Halo Wars 2. And it just seems like Halo Infinite's kind of idea is just like a return to form, but in a modern style. And what would you absolutely need to bring back to kind of give that classic feel of Halo? need to bring the flood back and the lore at zeta halo would be able to write it in saying that there's probably i think there's like some designated containment systems within zeta halo that would have some flood you know secured away in some location i can totally see another breakout situation like we had in combat evolved happening again in zeta halo and i'd absolutely love to see that happen you know there's gonna be like a ton of reaction videos on the internet <laughs> showcasing like everyone's reaction like oh my god the flood is back plus with awakening the nightmare they found a way to write in the flood into the halo story arc in some way or another so if there's no flood in halo infinite's original story that is a huge missed opportunity. Edible Dognut, fantastic name, <laughs> says, Hey Kevin, if you were 343 Industries, how would you include the grapple hook into multiplayer without changing the Halo formula? Well, we do know that the grapple hook will be in the multiplayer for Halo Infinite, and it's going to be a pickup equipment, very similar to what you've seen in Halo 3. And since this equipment is going to be something you'll have to fight over in a multiplayer match, it doesn't have to be such a worry about balancing, because if it sucks and doesn't work, you can just delete it off the map, and it's not that big of a deal. If it's a base trait value like we were worried about originally then that would completely mess up the balance of the entire game as a whole that's why we've always been much more focused on sandbox elements rather than gameplay elements because it's much easier to fix the sandbox it's much harder to just completely fix the game now how would i include the grapple hook in the game why well, i would like to see either a cooldown or some type of limited use to it some ways to kind of limit so it's not like you can just grapple hook wherever you want, however you want, as far as you want. There needs to be a, like a distance limitation. There needs to be a usage limitation as well. Maybe like a 30 second cooldown or something like that. Like a permanent pickup or if it's like a one time use, or maybe you can use like two or three or four times, something like that. Obviously, depending on how the multiplayer plays out, that would depending on the limitations you would put onto the grapple hook. But yeah, it needs to be some form of limitations. You just can't be grappling hook all over where you would want. Now, when it comes to maybe modifying the multiplayer formula around that in some way, maybe adding some more verticality. The first thing that comes to my mind is the map construct in Halo 3. That map would benefit so much from a grappling hook because playing that map, especially in Team Slayer, is quite the drag, honestly. I really don't like that map. But in King of the Hill, where you have to move around, it's actually a lot of fun. And this grapple hook, from what we've seen so far, seems to be able just to latch onto anything in the game. So if you just put a piece of geometry out, you'll be able to grab onto it. The options for it are kind of limitless. Yeet! As Q and A, do you think Halo Infinite will have AI in Forge? How do you think they will handle the skulls? AI and Forge, I feel like might be something that might come in later for Halo Infinite. I mean, we don't really know much about Forge besides there being a it being in the game and that there's going to be an undo and redo button. Other than that, we don't know anything else about Forge. I think the next evolution of the platform of Forge would have to be added in AI into it so then players can actually maybe even make their own custom like missions and stuff like that, which would be freaking awesome. I mean, we've seen something like that in Far Cry 5 with their map editor, so I don't see why Halo Infinite wouldn't be able to do the same. I'd like to be able to select which enemies you want to place down and also maybe put tra different traits to them that has in the easily aggro, you know, medium aggro, low aggro kind of thing or maybe if they are have a lot of health, have low health, things like that, I think would be a really also much needed addition to make the AI addition of Forge be actually worth using really and give players options that so kind of create some really unique gameplay styles. Uh, when you're talking about skulls and stuff like that, I would like to just see like what we currently have right now with Halo, just some additional fun stuff to kind of make, you know, just the game a little more difficult or play in a different way. I would like to see skulls being added into multiplayer like we've seen with Halo 2 Classic, the MCC. I think that's a fantastic addition and I'd absolutely love to see that right into the multiplayer for Halo Infinite for additional customization. Last question here is from Caden Horrocks. 
friend of the channel, by the way. What would you be doing if Halo Infinite were to really succeed or fail? With the lack of content for Halo Infinite, Halo content creators have been exploring more franchises than just Halo, and some even switching over to other franchises. What are your thoughts on that? Well, personally, I really think that Halo Infinite is going to succeed from what I've kind of seen so far, the ideas that they're talking about for Halo Infinite, and from the ability that 343 will be able to you know, adjust the game on the fly almost with the new slip space engine. I feel like this game is almost going to guarantee to succeed, but that's just my personal opinion. Of course, this game could completely flop and then just, you know, be a complete money sink for Microsoft. And so this also has been something that's been playing in my mind as well. You know, I'm betting all in when it comes to Halo Infinite on this channel. I feel like I found my niche on YouTube. I feel like I found my niche community that I really enjoy being part of. And I want to stick with that because Halo has always been my favorite game. Halo has always been a special piece of media for me. It's more than just a video game. If anything, it's, it's part of what makes me and so if this game succeeds, and I would assume if the success of the game goes along and the way we've been going on the channel, I would assume the channel would probably see some success as well, to, to the point where maybe we be, would be able to go like full time on YouTube and Twitch content creation, which would be kind of a dream job for me because my wife has to like leave the house every day for work. And, you know, eventually once I start like building the family and stuff like that, it'd be amazing to be able to work from home be able to create content and also just live out a passion of video games and video content creation. So that's what would be my plan Like if this game succeeds. Now if it completely fails, what's going to happen to the channel here? I'm not totally sure. I mean, if we have like an MCC level of fail, I mean, we could definitely can make videos about talking about how bad the game is or something like that and try to maybe see if we can find some other ways maybe transition to other games or other styles or maybe try to take this format of Halo news and maybe broaden it to just gaming news as a whole. Um, it just really kind of wants to see how it plays out at the time. But for right now, I'm still all in on Halo Infinite and this is the game that I'm completely betting on. Now, like you mentioned about other content creators moving to other franchises, well, like I totally understand their moves from what I've seen, like Luke the Notable, for example, who got a following with in Halo 5 and then switched over to Fortnite because he was getting million view videos, multi-million view videos on his channel for Fortnite. So I could totally understand like, yeah, maybe we should do some more Fortnite on the channel. Or like Actman, which his video format fit perfectly to switching over to other games as well, especially Call of Duty. And I've enjoyed literally every video he puts out. I absolutely enjoy an Actman video. It's a must watch for me. So I'd kind of like to see something along the lines, like if I have to branch out to other content in the way of like Act Man, where probably, you know, still like, you know, talk about Halo and still be a part of the channel as a whole, but maybe also have some more extra content, in other games that maybe people are also who are interested in Halo would be interested in like Call of Duty or like some other kind of game that might come out. I just can't picture not making videos on this channel because I've worked too hard for too long on this channel to just stop if Halo Infinite fails. But until then, we're making Halo videos. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. I appreciate everyone's support on the channel recently. L last month in November was the best month I ever had on the platform so thank you so much for guys for your continued support if you miss any content from me check out the videos on the screen right over here and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out